Peter Vernon, Patricia Hayes, Elaine Taylor, The Raindrops, and Malcolm Lockyer's Hilltime Band. It's also time for the lad himself, Benny Hill. Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Nice to be with you again. You know, I'm sure very few listeners ever give a thought to the man behind a radio show, the man responsible for your entertainment, and I mean, of course, the producer. Well, now, I'm standing outside the office of one of the BBC's top producers, Mr. Fred Scuttle, and it's behind this door that some of the BBC's best ideas are born. Well, give us the kiss, then. <laughs> no. Oh, go on. It won't do you any harm. It'll do me a lot of good. <laughs> Go on, be a sport. Oh, what you did. You've been eating meat again, haven't you? Well, here goes. Hey, hey, what, what's that knocking? Well, it's not opportunity, so you needn't think it is. <laughs> just, just a minute, just a minute. Here, it may be Roy Rich. Well, get off my lap, then. <laughs> Come in. Ah, Mr. Fred Scuttle. Mr. Alastair Scott Scuttle, if you don't mind, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Goosens. You may leave us now. Huh. You'll have to forgive her, sir. She's just come off listening with Mother. Her nerves are in shreds. The excitement. You do understand, Doctor. Of course. Sir. Yes, of course. Now, Mr. Scuttle, you've been responsible for most of the BBC's top shows. Indeed, I have, sir. Latin American Serenade with Dorita E. Fred. <laughs> mine, sir. The two wave family favourites <laughs> was mine. And, of course, Several numerous others as well. Well, now, tell me, Mr. Scottle, how do you find it here at the BBC? It's straight down the corridor. <laughs> no, I mean, what are the conditions like here? Well, they're very nice, sir. Mum, we have a little trouble with the stuff, you see, sir. Well, take Miss Goosens, for example, sir. She just isn't used to the pace, you see. I mean, as you well know, sir, time is important to us. I mean, we producers live by the stopwatch. And there we was last week in the middle of roundabout... She drops the watch on the floor. Good heavens, did it stop? It didn't go straight through. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, it did, sir. Yes. Well, what on earth happened? Well, we overran something terrible, sir. We had Joe Brown singing Put Your Shoes on Lucy in the middle of Dan Archer's cow shed. <laughs> of course, the Archers must be one of your most popular shows. At the moment, sir, yes. But it will become redundant when my new serial, What I Have Writ Myself, gets underway, sir. It is the truth about farming folk, sir. Full of drama and intrigue. What's it called? Mrs. Dial's Dairy. <laughs> it is about a woman, sir, who runs a small dairy farm. Everybody loves her, sir. Even the cows love her. <laughs> I see. She's got a warm heart. No, it's a warm hand. <laughs> but you see, sir, everybody just adores her. They all love her, sir. That is, except her husband, sir. He doesn't care for her? Not anymore, sir, no. Go right off her, yes, sir. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, sir, if she was to drop dead in the street, he couldn't identify the body. <laughs> Shocking, sir. Now, then, sir, <laughs> her rival, Mr. Drummer, who runs the Drummer Dairies, <laughs> he has an electric milking machine installed, and she says, hello, she says he's trying to pull a fast one. <laughs> is what we call a food start, you see, sir. Well, one day, sir, she is out with the milk van driving along the road when this Mr. Drummer starts to overtake her in his sports car. And as he draws level with her, he puts his head over the window and he shouts, Pig! And she shouts out, Fish face! And runs over a pig. <laughs> now, sir, here is where the story starts to get a little bit bizarre. She goes to this pig farm with this dead pig, you see. It's a boar, really, but... <laughs> she shows the pig to the pig farmer, who says, Here, but this is our pet pig. He says, This'll kill the wife. So she says, Well, don't let her eat it. <laughs> then the wife comes to the door, and a disagreeable episode ensues. 
This is known as episode three. <laughs> well, so that is as far as I've got, owing to Miss Goose End. She doesn't take things down very quickly, sir. <laughs> She doesn't do shorthand. She does, but it takes a little longer. <laughs> Mind you, sir, there are some wonderful programmes on the BBC radio nowadays. I mean, just look at this week's radio times. Here we are. So those were the days with the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Educational programmes on books. Here you are. The All Read Show. <laughs> Pop music. Elsie and Doris Waters sing Sonny and Cher. <laughs> the classics. Malcolm Lockyer plays Schubert and loses. <laughs> All these shows really knock me out. So do you know, sir, there are so many good programmes on at the moment that I'm going to do something I've never done before, sir. What's that? Write a fan letter? No, sir, buy a radio license. Oh. So still, sir. <laughs>